Hello there, it's David Connolly here from dcradionetwork.com. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. If you're watching this, it means that you've just been hand-picked, hand-selected. And by the powers of technology, you are now being invited to join a new, exclusive, private and very special club. I'm talking about David's Web Development Club. You see, I don't want to focus on me, but I've been a commercial web developer since 1996. That's a long time. And over the years, I've worked with tons of developers. Developers from the commercial sector, developers from the academic universe, developers from the information superhighway, you know. And let me tell you something that you probably didn't know. Do you know that some of the best web developers on the planet are flat broke? Being technically brilliant doesn't mean that you're going to be driving a Lamborghini, okay? Now, don't take my word for it. Head on down to any of the major, let's say PHP forums, head into any of the major forums, look up the people who are posting the most, the people who are con contributing the most, the people who seem to be doing the most and know the most. Now you check them out, you look them up, and I think you will find that with only a few very rare exceptions, they're all basically, well, let's be charitable, financially challenged. You see, let's, let's have an honest conversation here. We live in an age of Fiverr.com. Isn't that a shame? So if you're a commercial web developer, this is a real problem because people can now go on to sites like Fiverr.com and in minutes they can easily hire a, a, a web developer to build a database-driven site with a content management system, a cool design, launched and everything. For just five dollars. How are you going to compete in this kind of age? How are you going to survive, never mind thrive and prosper? How can you possibly earn a living as a web developer in this kind of climate? And really and truly, this is the stuff that web developers need to be thinking about, okay? This is much more important than any technology. How are you going to survive in this climate? You know, there's a lot of bad news right now. Look at the state of the economy. Just switch on the news. But there's actually some good news, you see. Because somewhere today, today, somewhere, there is a web developer who has sold a website for a five-figure sum. This happens all the time. Somewhere out there, tomorrow, there'll be another web developer who sells a website for a five-figure sum or even a six-figure sum. Believe me, it's possible. It's possible. And I'm here to say, why not you? Why can you not be the guy who sells the website for five figures or six figures or maybe even seven figures? Why not you? And you say, oh, well, you know, I'm technically not good enough. Listen, I can give you the name and address of a company that I was, I was in their office, actually. They sold a Photoshop document, a Photoshop document, no HTML, no PHP, just a Photoshop document for $180,000. Now, you probably don't get to hear about these things much because you're not hanging about with the right people, quite frankly. And, you know, I don't want to make enemies with people on forums or anything, but let me tell you that the, the kind of online discussion forum universe and the commercial high-paid web developer universe are two completely different places. And this is more than just psychology. This is more than just marketing theory. You see, anyone who has watched my uh, development tutorials on YouTube 
will know that commercial web developers think differently, we build things differently, we use different techniques, techniques that you maybe won't find in books or many online forums. For example, suppose this, this notebook, right, suppose this was a web page, okay? Now, most web developers would say, okay, well, here's the logo, and they would maybe go into Photoshop, they would chop this up, and they would call it logo.jpg or something like that, okay? And it might go inside a little div called logo, right? But you see, commercial web developers wouldn't do that. A commercial web developer would cut that out, put it inside a div, but they would not call it logo. They would call it car insurance or leather handbags or something like that. Can you see the vibe? So uh, technically, and in terms of strategy and psychology, high paid commercial developers do things differently. And that's what this club is all about. So when you join this club, you're gonna learn about some of the hottest technologies, okay? You're gonna learn about how to become a highly paid, highly sought after web developer. Believe me, the, the situation isn't as bad as the news might lead you to believe. Do you know that right now, right now, the I think it's the Financial Times are hiring a PHP developer and the wage is £80,000 per year. That's approximately, quick calculation, that's approximately $120,000 per year. These kind of jobs are out there. Those contracts are out there. You just don't know about them. You just don't know about them. And, you know, it really bugs me when I see talented web developers, intelligent, wholesome, honest people charging peanuts for their work. And it's just, it doesn't make any sense. And I hear some people say, well, you know, it's all right for you, but I live in, uh, you know, some strange place. Had a guy the other day talking to me. He's from Bulgaria. And I have people talk to me from all over the place. I, you know, a lot of people talk to me from the Philippines and places like that. But you see, here's the point. Location doesn't matter. I live in Scotland, but right now, I'm opening an office in the heart of London. It's literally a big glass skyscraper and it's, you know, it's this, <coughs> it's this super cool place. Now, <coughs> oh, that was actually a well-timed cough because it brings me on to the reason why I'm doing this. You see, I actually, so gee, on November, I became very ill with whooping cough. And I don't know if you've had whooping cough before, but just imagine not being able to stop coughing and not being able to breathe in, right? You can breathe out, but you cannot breathe in. It's a very heavy thing. So for the past three months, I've been coughing like that and I've been going, you know, and it's really heavy. Now, I have tons of work, okay? and tons of people trying to hire me. My biggest problem in life is getting through all of the stuff I've got, you know? And the way I see it is, if, I, if I've got a network of really highly trained elite web developers, people who I've hooked up with and I've taught them and I've showed them some really cool stuff and I know you guys and you know me, then maybe the next time that I'm not feeling well, Maybe I can hook up with you and say, hey, listen, man, do you want this project? I'll give you 50%, knock yourself out, you know? And who knows? Maybe there will be a time, maybe in a few months, when you'll be working and you'll say, do you know what? I feel like going to the beach today. And when that day comes, you'll be able to tap into the network and say, hey, does anyone want this? I'm off to the beach. That's the vision. That's the vision. I believe that we can actually help each other. I believe that it's in my interest and yours for us to figure this stuff out together. And if we work together, we are capable of awesome things. You know, as you watch this screen, you probably see that my face looks really red. Okay, do you see that? That's actually the color of my face right now. 
I mean, I'm really not in very good health and I need some help. I need you to come on board the fun bus with me. Let me train you up on some of this stuff. Let me show you how to become a highly paid, highly trained web developer. It's David's Web Development Club and it's at dcradionetwork.com. Head on down to dcradionetwork.com. There's a form there, I think it's on the right hand side. Fill it in and you'll be hearing from me, okay? Um, so, thank you so much. And I really do hope that this can be the beginning of something good, you know. I hope we can do some, some good stuff together. Thank you, and may the Force be with us all. Bye!